What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road to the show here today. We're going on the road with a four-game set in San Diego against the Padres. And uh, the Diamondbacks are currently five and a half games ahead of the Dodgers, so we got to try to win at least two of these, maybe three if we if we have some good baseball. That way we can maintain our lead over the Dodgers and win the division here. So, yeah, here we go. Game number one, top of the first, runner on first, one away. I'm standing in batting 304 on the season. I'm in the number three hole today against Max Freed. He throws a 96 mile an hour four seamer, 96 on the sinker. And that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch. Oh, 12 6 curve had me way out in front there. Oh, and won the count for me after no chance of contact there. Then I line one right to the first baseman. Call that one a 3-6-3 double play that retires the side. Very much an unproductive at-bat there. Uh, Will the bat dollars to pesos. Just a smidge too aggressive at the plate here. Looking to turn things around from that last series, which was not so good. Bottom of the first, Xander Bogart is going to line one down the third baseline. We'll make a sliding stop there. Throw across. Will be in time. That is the first out in the bottom of the first. I like it. I like it a lot. We come back top of the fourth. It's a 1-0 lead for San Diego. And I'm standing in for the second time today with a runner on first and one out again here in the top of the fourth. Max Freed probably looking for that double play ball again. Uh, first pitch of this at-bat. 12-6 curve got me to swing right through it. Right at the knees on the outside corner. That's a good spot for that pitch, really. 12-6 curve this time, still way out in front of it on the inside third. And it's fouled off down the left field line. We have an 0-2 hole in a hurry. And a swing and a miss with a sinker off the outside corner. It's a three-pitch strikeout. There's three swings, and none of them make a ball between the lines. Top of the seventh, we come back to it. Still a 1-0 ball game with the Padres in the lead. Runner on first. Nobody out this time around as I'm facing off against Max Freed for the third time today. First pitch. Hacking at a four-seamer up and away. It's an 0-1 count. I am being way too aggressive at the plate here. The 0-1 pitch from Freed. That's an easier take. 12-6 curve way outside. Taken for a ball. I think that's the first ball I've taken in this game. One and one the count for me now. Pitch number three. Oh, late swing on a four-seamer just above the knees on the outer third. And it's a one and two count. I have no chance of catching up to that one. And then swing and a miss at a four-seamer on the inner third near the top of the zone. It's a second strikeout for me in this one as Max Freed has definitely got my number in this one. Bottom half of the inning, Arizona has now tied it up. It's a 1-1 ball game. Runner on first and one away for Xander Bogarts. He's still rocking the Ofer on the day after three plate appearances. And he's hitting 295 on the season. So uh, let's see what he does with an 0-1 pitch from starter Luis Severino, who's still in here in the seventh. Ground ball to me at third. We'll scoop it up. Throw to second. We'll be one. Relay to first. In time. We go around the horn. 5-4-3. It's a double play to retire the side. So apparently the Cracker Jack wasn't working for San Diego there. We're going to move on. It's now the top of the ninth. Still a 1-1 ball game. Runner on first and nobody out for me as I'm standing in 0-3 on the day with a 3-0-2 batting average now. And I get a dynamic challenge because of that runner on first. And, uh, gosh... Advancing the runner, sure, we'll try that. Pierce Johnson is now on the mound for the Padres out of the bullpen. He hits 98 on his four-seamer, 90 on the slider, 88 on his slurve. First pitch. Four-seamer gets the call in the outside corner. Oh, and won the count. Thought that was going to tail out, and it did not. Second pitch of the at-bat now from Johnson. Below the knees of the slider, and I swing right over top of it, and it's an 0 and 2 count. Man, this game has been ugly for me at the plate. Two strike pitches low and inside with a four-seamer. That's taken for a ball. One and two the count now. Come on, big fella. Give me something good to swing at here. There's a dinger. No doubt about that one. Out to deep right field. Hung back on that one just enough, apparently. And it's a two-run bomb to give Arizona a three-to-one lead here in the top of the ninth. Hot diggity. 385 feet and only 99.3 off the bat for home run number 48 on the season. I like it. I like it a lot. Diamondbacks end up taking the win 5-1, the final score here in game number one. 
So, uh, yeah, we're going to move on to game number two, see if we can keep this going. And, uh, yeah, game number two, you know what that means. This is where I remind everybody, if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can also like and comment on this video, as all of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. So here we go, game number two. I'm standing in, it's the top of the first. Runners on first and second, nobody out. I'm batting third in the order. Drew Thorpe on the mound for the Swingin' Friars. He hits 95 on the four-seamer. 91 on his two-seamer, that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch, right down the middle and out to right center field it goes. It's going to be a two-run double. Cause I'm going to hold up at second because I don't like trying for triples. Haven't had much luck with those. So, yeah, it's a 2 nothing lead for Arizona now with nobody out in the top of the first. I like it. I like it a lot. Top of the third, we come back. It's still a 2 nothing ball game. Nobody out, nobody on. I'm standing in one for one on the day. Drew Thorpe still towing the rubber for San Diego. First pitch of the at-bat from him. Another one down the middle. And we popped it up in front of home plate. Catcher's going to do the job there. You betcha. Call that one a P2 for those of you keeping track at home. Top of the fourth, we come back. I'm at the plate again. One for two on the day, two for six on the series. And runner on first, two away. Still a 2 nothing ball game. Still Drew Thorpe on the mound, but he's throwing pitch number 76 of his outing already. And there's one right off the glove of the third baseman, huh? And he just stood there and let the ball bounce until it stopped bouncing in front of him before he picked it up to throw to first, so... That ends up being a base hit for me, and I'll take it. It'll help the old batting average out. Bottom of the fifth, we come back. Still a 2-0 lead for Arizona. Nobody out and nobody on for Cody Bellinger. He's 0 for 1 on the day and 0 for 4 on the series. He is not having a good time. And, uh, yeah, he's got himself an 0-1 count against Brandon Fott, who's only throwing pitch number 44 of the game here in the fifth inning. And a ground ball to me at third. That'll be an easy play as the throw to first will be in plenty of time. One away now in the home half of the fifth. Top of the seventh, still a 2-0 ball game. Pierce Johnson on the mound now uh, for the Padres. <clears throat> Apparently that coffee is uh, letting my stomach know it's not happy in there. Oh, four-seamer from Johnson hits 98. He hits 90 on a slider, 88 on the slur. First pitch of the at-bat from him is going to be off the plate away. That makes for a 1-0 count. I think that's the first 1-0 count I've had in this series so far. Second pitch from him now. Oh, just missed the bottom of the zone there on the inside corner. Two and oh, the count. That's a good spot, dude. The 2-0 pitch from Johnson. That's the inside corner with the four-seamer. Swing and a miss makes for a two and one count. No matter what, I was going to have a strike on that one. Next pitch is that same four-seamer in the top half of the zone right down the middle of the plate, but it's fouled away for a two and two count now. Pitch number five of the at-bat from Johnson. Way outside with the slurve, and it's a full count for me here, leading off the top of the seventh. Payoff pitch number one. Fouled off a slurve. A little late on the swing, but enough to make contact and foul it away to keep this at-bat alive for payoff pitch number two. And it's a swing and a miss of the slurve below the knees on the outside corner. Yeah, it's a long at-bat to get the K, but so, I mean, I, at least I made him work for it, but I'm not exactly thrilled with that one. Top of the ninth, we come back, still a 2-0 lead for Arizona. Nobody out and nobody on. I'm standing in 2-4 for four on the day, 3.05 the batting average for me. And Eniel De Los Santos is now on the mound for the Padres. He hits 98 on his four-seamer, 90 on his circle change, 86 on the slider. First pitch of the at-bat from him. Inside corner with a four-seamer, got a piece of it and fouled it away. We have ourselves an 0-1 count after that one makes its way into the stands. Second pitch of the at-bat from De Los Santos. Swing and a miss at a circle change on the outer third. 0-2 oh the count as I was way out in front of that one. The two-strike pitch. Got a piece of the four-seamer on the outside corner and fouled it off. That keeps the at-bat alive with an 0-2 oh count. Next pitch. Swing and a miss at a four-seamer up and in. Oof. Man, I've got more strikeouts than hits in this one, and I am not happy about that one. Diamondbacks do take the win here in game number two, though. Two to nothing, the final score to take a two-nothing series lead. 
So, I mean, I guess that's a perk. We are winning games, but, uh, yeah, I could be doing so much better at the plate. We're going to move on to game number three, though, and see if we can continue our winning ways or if the Padres are going to come out and uh, mess up our scoreboard here. Top of the first, it's two outs and nobody on as I'm batting third in the order again. 305 the batting average, and I'm leading the National League with 128 RBIs so far this season. I get a dynamic challenge because those bases are empty here, and uh, we're going to try to record a hit after taking the first pitch. Robbie Snelling is towing the rubber for the Padres in this one. He hits 95 on the four-seamer, 93 on his two-seamer, and that's all he's got that's quick. Taken all the way on pitch number one, and oh, that was a good one to swing at too. Curveball down the middle of the plate, just above the knees, oh, and won the count. Second pitch now from Snelling. Goodbye, baseball. Showed me that curveball a second time, and I did not miss that one at all. That one finds its way well into the stands there in left center field. And it gives Arizona a 1-0 lead to start off game number three. I'll take it. 426-footer and 108.4 off the bat for home run number 49 on the season. Hot diggity. Top of the third, we come back. Two outs and a runner on first for me as I'm standing in one for one after that solo dinger. Uh, Robbie Snelling is still on the mound. First pitch of the at-bat from him is outside with a four-seamer. One and oh, the count. I have hit 39 doubles on the season, and that's tied for fifth in the National League. Intriguing. Second pitch of the at-bat is a four-seamer off the plate away and just below the knees. Two and oh, the count for me now. Let's see what we get with a 2-0 pitch from Snelling. Ooh, cold zone four-seamer that I force into right field. Ground ball with eyes gets me another single. It's a two-for-two two day at the plate for me so far. I'll take that. Top of the fifth, we come back. Arizona now leading five to nothing. There's one out and nobody on for me as I'm standing in with a 3.07 batting average after a pair of hits so far today. Reese Nair is now on the mound for the Padres out of the bullpen. He hits 96 on the four-seamer, 95 on the two-seamer. 90 on his circle change, 91 on the cutter, only 81 on the curveball. First pitch of this at bat, outside with that curveball, makes for a 1 and 0 oh count to start this at bat. Second pitch now from Nair. Another one way outside, 2 and 0 oh the count. Come on, big fella, you got to bring those in a little bit here. Third pitch of the at bat. It's in, and line right to the third baseman. Hot corner comes true for Chapman there. Hot diggity. Reflexes are the only thing that saved his bacon, I think. We come back top of the seventh. Five-nothing lead for Arizona. Runner on first, nobody out. I'm standing in two for three on the day, and Reese Nair is still on the mound for the Padres. First pitch of this at-bat from Nair. There's a two-seamer right down the middle of the zone. Got a piece of it and fouled it off. Man, that should have been a good one to drive, but... Uh, Apparently, I just missed on the contact. Second pitch is a four-seamer at the top of the zone on the inner third, and that's fouled away for an 0-2 count. The two-strike pitch now from there. I bet you it's going to be below the knees. No, froze me with a four-seamer right down the middle. Yikes. Oh, boy. That's an embarrassing strikeout. I know what I did in the first inning. I don't need to see the replay, and I get the intentional walk here in my fourth plate appearance. Apparently Tom Cosgrove wanted nothing to do with me. And the Diamondbacks are going to take the win here in game number three as well. Five to two, the final score. It's a win number nine on the season for Brian Wu, since that's the first time I've seen his name in this one. No fielding opportunities for me in game number three. So, yeah, here we go. Two for four day at the plate makes for a five for 13 on the series so far. Let's move on to game number four and see if we can complete a four-game sweep on the road. Even with my uh, somewhat pedestrian accomplishments at the plate in this one, we're still doing really well as a team. So here we go, game number four, top of the first. One out, runner on first. Kyle Hendricks on the mound for the Padres. He only hits 90 on his sinker and four-seamer. That's the closest thing he's got to quick pitches. First pitch is that four-seamer just above the zone, swung on and missed. And it's an 0 oh and 1 count for me to start this at bat in game number four. Second pitch now from Hendricks. Jeez, circle change just below the knees. And another one swung on and missed. And he is tearing me up in a hurry here. 0-2 oh the count for me. Pitch number three from Hendricks. And it's another one just off the black. And uh, yeah, three swings, three misses. And it's a strikeout for me. And back to the dugout I go. 
Bottom of the third, we come back. Padres are on the board. It's a 1-0 lead for them. Nobody out and nobody on for Xander Bogarts. He's one for one on the day and hitting 294 on the season. Let's see what he can do with an 0-2 pitch from starter Ryan Nelson. It's going to pop one up into shallow left field. I don't know why they have that as a fielding opportunity for me as uh, the shortstop's going to make the play just barely on the infield dirt. And that's going to be out number one. We come back top of the fourth. I'm standing in 0 for 1 on the day, 5 for 14 on the series. Kyle Hendricks still toeing the rubber, and the Padres still holding on to that 1 0 lead. Bases are empty and nobody out for me, and the first pitch of this at bat from Hendricks. Dribble to first, and that's going to be three unassisted as he takes it to the bag himself. At least that one was in the zone, I think. We'll find out here when I uh, bring that up. As we come back top of the fifth, tied at two runs apiece, and I'm standing in 0 for 2 on the day. Two outs, runners on first and second. And, yeah, that pitch in my previous at-bat was in the zone, finally. But, uh, yeah, first pitch of this at-bat from Hendricks. Goodbye, baseball. That's out to deep right field, and that's going to give Arizona a 5-2 to two lead as that one bounces into the stands there. Hoorah, home run number 50 on the season. That is incredible for me. That's as many as I hit in the previous season. We are just barely in the beginning of September here in the 2026 series, or season, sorry. So, yeah, we're coming back. Okay, flashback to the fifth inning when I hit that three-run dinger. I know. Arizona leading 5-3 to three now in the top of the seventh. Uh, runners on first and second, two outs. Adrian Morjon is on the mound for the Padres out of the bullpen. He hits 99 on his four-seamer. 90 on the slider, and that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch is that four-seamer. Late swing, got a piece, fouled it away. Oh, and won the count for me now in this at-bat. Next pitch from Morjon. Come on, big guy. Inside with a four-seamer. Taken for a ball. One and one the count. Come on, Bubba. Hit me with that slider right down the middle. You can do it, bud. Let me take one off the Western Metal Supply Building. No, sir. Four seamer off the plate away makes for a two and one count here. Trying to avoid going to the seventh inning stretch as a result of my at bat. Ooh, four seamer right down Broadway. Got a piece of it and fouled it away. Two and two the count. I was way behind that one. Pitch number five of the at bat. Just misses the inside corner with that curveball. That was a tough take. Full count now with two away. Runners are going to be in motion. Payoff pitch from Adrian Morjohn. Swing and a miss and a circle change on the outer third. And there's a K next to my name yet again in this one. Man, Skipper was just saying, you know, that I need to work on my strikeouts as I struck out 26 times in the previous month. And uh, yeah, I've struck out like, what, seven or eight times now in this series? Oof, it's ugly. Bottom of the seventh, we come back two outs and a runner on first for Fernando Tatis Jr. He's 0 for 2 on the day with a walk on his line score, but he is hitting 287 on the season. David Bedner is on the mound for the Diamondbacks now out of the bullpen. He's throwing an 0 2 pitch to Tatis. And that ground ball to me is going to be an easy play to first. And that's going to end the seventh inning. We're heading on to the eighth, still leading the Padres by a score of 5 to 3. Top of the ninth, it's still a 5-3 ball game. Two outs and a runner on first as I'm standing in one for four on the day today. Tom Cosgrove now on the mound for the Padres out of the bullpen. He hits 95 on the four-seamer, 93 on his two-seamer, and that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch, well below the knees with that four-seamer there. That was closer to the plate than my kneecaps. So it's a 1-0 count to start this at-bat. Second pitch now from Cosgrove. Oh, dude, that changeup had me fooled. One and one the count, as I was so far out in front of that, it wasn't even funny. One and one the count for me now. Third pitch of the at-bat. Oh, still missed on a curveball above the knees down the middle of the plate, way out in front of it yet again. One and two the count now. The two-strike pitch from Cosgrove. Throws me with a four-seamer on the inside corner. How about that? Skunked at the plate in that A.B. most definitely. Diamondbacks still take the win. 5-3 the final score as we sweep a four-game series in San Diego. How's about that? Wow. Yep, not the best day at the plate. Only a 1-for-5 day for me, but 6-for-18 on the series with three long balls and eight RBIs. That's kind of hard to complain about there. So, um, yeah, that's... 
that's a solid series for the Diamondbacks. Some really sketchy at-bats for me in it, but, you know, we still took the wins, and that's what really counts at this point. So, yeah, it's the end of the series. Therefore, it's the end of the episode. For those of you that have made it this far, thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. We will see you in the next one.